Hi guys, it's your favorite Norwex girl, Melissa here. I get a lot of people that ask me, is the mop equivalent to how well the Enviro cloth cleans? So I figured I would do a demonstration just to go ahead and answer that question. Now, I've done this demonstration before, but we used the Enviro cloth when I did it. So this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do the raw chicken demo, and I'm actually gonna do it on my floor so I can prove to you how well the Norwex Superior Mop System works. This mop is amazing. So you're gonna get this great mop handle. What's nice about this mop handle is it actually gets a lot bigger. It telescopes out. Look how long that is. That's really long. Now, not only that, but it's got a great little rubber ball on the bottom. Now, what people use that for is to get scuffs off your wood floor. And then if you possibly get somebody come to the door and you don't want to leave your mop, wet mop just sitting there, you can hang it on your counter. It hangs just like that. Pretty groovy, right? So what you're gonna get when you get the mop system, now this is the large superior mop system. You're gonna get the dry mop pad. That's gonna be great for um, hardwood floors to get dog hair up, any kind of dust. This is what I use in between mopping. It's fantastic. The dog hairs literally just stick right to this. And then what I like to use to get that off in between washing is my rubber brush. So what you would do is just take, just like that, and kind of scrape it into the garbage, and it works fantastically. All right. Now, it also comes with what I'm gonna to use today, the wet mop. So you don't need any chemicals when using this mop. You literally just wet this mop, and we're gonna stick it on. Now, if you just have some spots that you wanna get up and you don't necessarily have to clean the whole floor, you can actually take a spray bottle and just spritz with water, spritz the spot that you're wanting to clean up and go over it with your wet mop. Now, I actually wet it down and I'm gonna stick it on the end of my mop. This is Velcro. So it sticks right on the pad and it sticks really, really good. Put it right on there. Now a lot of people think that this is a little bit pricey and if you think about what you're gonna spend if you use something like a Swiffer wet jet, all the pads that you have to continuously buy and then throw away. So not only are you spending money on pads and the chemicals that you have to go in it, you're, you're, throwing in, you're throwing stuff away and creating all that waste. So this can be rinsed out in between washes and then I normally wash it once a week. And it's good for years. This thing will last. All right. Ooh, another good thing that I forgot to tell you, if you have an Enviro wand, this will actually attach to the uh, bottom of your mop handle and you'll be able to get up in really high ceilings if you can't reach them. That way you don't have to risk getting on a stool or up on a chair and possibly hurting yourself. All right, let's get to the demo now. All right, I've marked off where I wanna do this. So, just like the Enviro cloth demo, I have two swabs. One I'm gonna use before, after I put the chicken on, and then I'm gonna use this one after I clean it with the mop, just to assure that it worked. Now, green is clean and purple is dirty, okay? So we're gonna set those right here. So you can see me do it this whole time. Actually, I'll lay them right here. All right. Chicken out of here. All right. Oh, this is nice and slimy. Out of the way. 
So I'm going to swab it now. This will turn purple if it's starting. And it was really dirty, so it turned purple fairly fast. All right? Set that back down right here. And we're going to use the mop to clean this. Remember, there's just water on this, nothing else. We don't use chemicals here at Norlex. All right, let's do it again. Take the clean one, Haven't, hasn't been used, you see it's nice and white, and I'm going to swab this. And it'll be green if it's clean. Look at that. It's a really nice green color. Now just to show you that these swabs really work as well as they say they do is I'm going to grab this raw chicken here, okay? So we got the clean swab. And I'm going to go over this raw chicken. And now when I put it back in here, it should turn purple just to show you that it is dirty. You see that? Now, the reason that we test for protein is because protein is smaller than bacteria. Now, these are the same tests that the FDA uses and OSHA uses when they go into restaurants to test for cleanliness. The reason they do that, like I said, the bacteria is actually larger than protein. So if there is no protein found, then there's no possible way that bacteria could grow. So no signs of protein means no signs that bacteria will grow on the surface. That's why these tests are a good sign that the product really works. 